This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this movie, we're going to do a little bit of synthesizer programming. So I have a second inst created here, which I'm going to call keys on this track. And in the mix window, the keys, which is down there, the keys doesn't have an expand plugin on it yet. So let's create yet another instance of the plugin. That goes in the insert. And by the way, just like you could change the notes displayed in the MIDI event list, we saw that in the last movie, on the expand plugin, you can switch from the bass to the shaker loop to the keys. So any instance here that has the expand plugin, there's your bass part, there's your shaker loop, and there's your keys. So no keys yet. It just defaulted to the beneath the waves, which we know we don't want. So I will use this menu this time to try and find kind of an electric piano sound. I guess a soft Mark II, maybe just a regular Mark II. And let's see what that sounds like. Whoops, I'm still on my bass part. So pilot error, I'm switching off the bass and turning on the inst. All right, well, I kind of like that. That's kind of in the direction I want to go, but I want to add another part. So I'm going to add a little bit of percussion to this, something in the neighborhood of maybe this soft harp. Let's see how that works. All right, a little too tinky and... So... One way to adjust the relationship between this electric piano and this harp is to just use the levels. There are other ways to do this. If you didn't want the harp to play for the entire keyboard from, from bottom to top, you can set the range over here so that the range of this keyboard can be, and I'm just clicking and dragging now, the range of this keyboard can be just the low notes. And by the time I get to the top, there's no harp at all. So this is binary. This is either it's on or it's off. This isn't a gradual fade out from C minus 2 to B2. It exists from C minus 2 to B2, and then it doesn't exist anymore. And you can go the other way and have it only be on the very top parts. So if you wanted, for instance, a bass on the bottom and vibes on the top, that would be easy to do. You'd have the bass range be from whatever to whatever, and the vibes would be starting wherever the bass left off and picking up from there. So that's a cool way to be able to do multiple synths on the same performance, on the same patch. You can also set these for different MIDI channels, so that if you're transmitting on different channels, one part of the patch can be receiving on one channel, others can be receiving on other channels. So I'm sure you can figure out creative ways to go from there. Every part in here has effects one and two and pots that let you control the levels. So effects one right now is set for hall and it's on, the power is on. So now the power is off, power's back on. If you click in here, you can set this for hall or any of these choices here. And once you've set it for a particular type of reverb, you can also set the size and the shape of it. And you have a second FX, which you can turn on. And that gives you other choices that you can blend in with the first choice. So you can actually send the return from 2 back over to FX1. So you can get some interesting feedback. Now, I've created an instrument that I think I like. Let me see. I'm going to actually let this harp go all the way to G8. So it's on the entire keyboard now. I could pan this one right, pan the roads left. Since they're similar kind of timbres, I'm going to leave them. And I'm just going to compare no harp with harp. 
All right, so I sort of like the woofiness that it's adding. And I have created now a new instrument. And because I've changed the Mark II, this is italicized. So what I want to do is save this. So if I go to the preset menu up here, I can save my settings as, let's call it Rhodes and Harp. Not very original, but that will work. And I can save it inside of the folders that exist or just create my own new folder in here and it creates a patch. So I will just go in the expand folder and save it. And now I have a patch called Rhodes and Harp. It's down here at the bottom, in addition to all the factory menus that come with Expand. So now it's a piece that I created. If I switch to some other thing and then back to my Rhodes and Harp, there are all my settings that I created when I saved it. So easy way for you to experiment, combine sounds, save them so that you can use them. Okay. I think in the next movie, it's time to lay down the part. Now that I've created this timbre, let's make some music with it.